Lesson 30 homework. Number one, rewrite the division expression as a fraction and divide. The first two have been started for you. So A, they've started it for us. They have two and four tenths divided by eight tenths and they rewrote it as a fraction. And then just like we were doing before to multiply or to divide de decimals, what they're doing is multiplying two and four tenths by 10 in order to make it into a whole number 24 and then multiplying eight tenths by 10 in order to make that also into the whole number of eight. So what we have is 24 divided by eight, which is equal to three. For B, they did the same thing, except this time they had to multiply by 100 because we need to multiply the top, the numerator and the denominator by the same number so that it will still be an equivalent fraction. And in order to make 8 hundredths into a whole number, we needed to multiply by 100. If we'd multiplied by just 10, we would have only gotten 8 tenths, and that's still not a whole number. So we had to multiply this by 100 and this by 100. So we got 240 divided by 8, and 240 divided by 8 is equal to 30. C, 4 and 8 tenths divided by 6 tenths. So as a fraction, that would be 4 and 8 tenths over six tenths. Now, since we're working with tenths, both of them are tenths, we're gonna multiply by 10. So it's equal to four and eight tenths times 10 over six tenths times 10, which would be equal to 48 over six, and 48 divided by six is equal to eight. D, 48 hundredths divided by six hundredths. So 48 hundredths over six hundredths. Now here, since we're working with hundredths, we're going to multiply by 100 to get them both into whole numbers. So we would have four and eight tenths, or sorry, it's 48 hundredths. Times 100 over six hundredths times 100, which would get us 48 over 6, and this is also equal to 8. E, 8 and 4 tenths divided by 7 tenths. So it would be equal to 8 and 4 tenths over 7 tenths. Here we're working with tenths, so we're going to multiply by 10. So we would have 84 over 7, and 84 divided by 7 is equal to 12. Here we have 84 hundredths over 7 hundredths. Now they're both hundredths, so I'm going to multiply by 100 to make them whole numbers. So we will have 84 over 7, and that's equal to 12. G, 4 and 5 tenths over 1 and 5 tenths be equal to 4 and 5 tenths. We're going to multiply by 10 since they're both tenths. So 45 over 15 and 45 divided by 15 is 3. Here we have 45 hundredths over 15 hundredths. Now we're going to multiply by 100. And that would be equal to 45 over 15, which is equal to 3. 14 and 4 tenths over 1 and 2 tenths. So we'd have, we need to multiply by 10. That would be equal to 144 over 12. 144 divided by 12 is 12. And the last one, 1 and 44 hundredths over 12 hundredths. Here we need to multiply by 100. We get 144 over 12, or 12. Number two, Leanne says 18 divided by 6 equals 3. So 1 and 8 tenths divided by 6 tenths equals 3 tenths, and 18 hundredths divided by 6 hundredths is equal to 3 hundredths. Is Leanne correct? Explain how to solve these division problems. Well, 
Let's start by solving them. So let's do 1 and 8 tenths divided by 6 tenths. So that we need to multiply by 10. And we would get 18 over 6, which is equal to 3. So we already know that's incorrect because she said it was going to be equal to 3 tenths, but it's equal to 3. So let's do this one. Here we have 18 hundredths over 6 hundredths. So we're going to need to multiply that by 100. It was 6 hundredths. So that would also be equal to 18 over 6 or 3. So Leanne is incorrect. Because when we rewrite them, in unit form, like we've just done, they are all equal to 3. Number 3. Denise is making bean bags. She has 6 and 4 tenths pounds of beans. If she makes bean bags 8 tenths of a pound, how many bean bags will she be able to make? So she has 6 and 4 tenths pounds of beans and she's putting them in groups of 8 tenths pounds. So we have 6 and 4 tenths divided by 8 tenths. So we can rewrite that as 6 and 4 tenths over 8 tenths. And we're going to multiply by 10 to make them whole numbers. So we'll have 64 over 8. 64 divided by 8 is equal to 8. So she'll be able to make 8 bean bags. B, if she decides to make the mini bean bags that are half as heavy, how many can she make? So before she was making them in 8 tenths of a pound. So if we take 8 tenths of a pound and make them half as heavy, or divide it by 2, we'll have 4 tenths of pounds. So this time we're doing 6 and 4 tenths divided by 4 tenths. So that would be 6 and 4 tenths over 4 tenths. And we need to multiply those by 10. So we'll have 64 over 4, and 64 divided by 4 is 16 mini bean bags. Number 4. A restaurant's small salt, salt shakers contain 6 tenths ounces of salt. Its large shakers hold twice as much. The shakers are filled from a container that has 18 and 6 tenths ounces of salt. If 8 large shakers are filled, how many small shakers can be filled with the remaining salt? So let's start writing down what we know. So we know the small ones hold 6 tenths ounces. And the large ones hold twice as much. So large would be twice as much that. So 6 tenths times 2. Or 6 tenths plus 6 tenths. So that would be 1 and 2 tenths. The shakers are filled from a container that has 18 and 6 tenths ounces. If eight large shakers are filled, how many small shakers can be filled with the remaining salt? So eight of them are filled, eight large ones are filled. So we have one and two tenths eight times. One and two tenths times eight would be, we can do one and two tenths times eight. And if I multiply, eight times two is we wouldn't have 1 and 2 tenths, it's 12 tenths. Fix that. So 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So we have 96 tenths, which would be equal to 9 and 6 tenths. So 9 and 6 tenths are used for the large shakers. But we have 18 and 6 tenths ounces. So let's figure out how much we would have left after we take out however much is in 
the large shakers. Bring the decimal point down. So we have nine ounces left for the small shakers here. So what we need to do is nine divided by six tenths to figure out how many small shakers can be filled. So we need to multiply by 10 to make 6 tenths into a whole number. So we have 90 sixths, or 90 divided by 6. 6 can go into 9 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. We subtract and get 3, bring down the 0. 6 goes into 30 five times. 5 times 6 is 30. So we get 15 small shakers.